Hello, 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 hello. It's Mo. So I'm wearing one white lace glove today um, because I'm going to be opening up some things and I need my hand to uh, get a little bit dirty, I think. So I didn't want to ruin my lace glove. Could do remind me of like a little tea party kind of thing. So, um, some of you have been sending me things for the past year and a half or so, um, now, approximately a year or so, and I realized I've thanked you individually, but I haven't really done a shout out video, and, um, I'm gonna start doing that here on. So, if, um, you sent me something in the past and I didn't publicly acknowledge it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna work on that moving forward. So I'll collect things for a little bit and then I'll make a video. So, um, that's the plan, Stan. So, um, most recently I have gotten, um, two packages and one of the packages I did a separate shout out thank you video on OnlyFans. It was all leather um, clothing for the most part, but the other half of that package I'm going to show you guys here, um, so this was from, um, someone from an Australia, um, please include if you send me something, if you're comfortable with me acknowledging your name or not, um, since I haven't gotten permission, I'm going to just exclude the names for right now, um, so this came all the way from Australia, which blew my mind. I am still very much in shock about um, how uniting this whole experience has been. So, um, all the way from down under. Um, so, these are the things that I've gotten. Oh, I should also mention that this that I'm wearing is a gift that I got previously from a friend as well. So, this is a very lovely corset top and I thought the lace would match it really perfectly. So. So I do apologize again if you sent me, sent me something and I haven't done this before. I'm moving forward going to be better at collecting this. Please, if you do send me something, let me know if your name can be included or if you want to change your name or whatever you want, however you want me to address you. So, I have not opened um, some of the things that I got here. So, um, this is, so it says Aussie made. These are all snacks from Australia. Actually something that I find very interesting whenever I travel is seeing um, the differences in kind of like the snack food. Um, I've mentioned some random tidbits of information in some of my videos about, um, you know, how Smarties in America versus the UK are very different candies. Um, and some of the snacks that we have here in the US versus other countries. And I just, I think it's really fun to kind of look. I always try to go to um, a grocery store and just look at it, see what's different. So, um, and this person didn't actually know that about me. So it's even that much more uh, neat, I guess, that they did this. So, handcrafted in Australia. It's a raspberry rockley road. I'm hoping I'm saying that correct. And this company is the famous Daryl Lee which I admit I had never heard of, so. Oh well. This is Daryly Famous since 1927. 1927, 1927. 
when you bite, bite into a deliciously chunky piece of Daryl Lee Rockley Road and taste the creamy milk chocolate, fluffy marshmallows, peanuts, and coconut, you'll understand why this Daryl Lee treat is one of our most famous. And it has, um, I doubt you'll be able to really see this, but it's got some pictures on the back of apparently the original Daryl Lee stores. So, okay, are you guys ready to check this out with me? I'm very excited. It's just wild. It still blows my mind. Oh my goodness. This is one piece. So, this is one, there's no sections on this. You're not supposed to eat this all at once, are you? Okay, I'm gonna open it, and we're just gonna take a bite. Let me this over here so it's not as loud. I'm go oh my gosh. Oh, you can definitely smell the raspberry. Wow. This smells exactly like a raspberry chocolate truffle would smell. That's an amazing. I wish you could smell it. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys ready? Chewy, but crunchy. It's interesting because there's, you know, the peanuts in there that give it crunch, but the marshmallow fluff and the raspberry little bits in here look chewy too, like almost like um, a gumdrop consistency. I'm gonna give it one more bite, just kinda get into it. Mm-hmm. That was really good. I may have bit off more than I can chew. Wow. I also bit the inside of my cheek this week pretty bad. So I got like a war wound on the inside of my cheek. Fun times. That was really, really good. I'm, I didn't know what to expect. I was thinking maybe like little tiny chunks of stuff. It's a big log, chewy and crunchy. What I like about it is it's sweet, but it's not so sweet like some of the stuff we get in the States that are just so sugared out and makes your teeth just like hurt. So I really liked that. That was very well done. Good job, Daryl Lee. It does say a milk chocolate slab. I don't know why I didn't think slab of chocolate. So I brought water out just so I could clean my palate. 
okay so next we have something that i have heard of but i've never tried tim tam tim tam i wonder if a timothy met a tamitha and they created this It says there is no substitute. Any other interesting facts on this? Nope. Well, um, but it is made in Australia. Again, I thought that was so cool. So, so cool. So they appear to be little chocolate sandwiches, almost like, um, well, chocolate sandwiches, I think, chocolate cookie, maybe some chocolate fluff in there, frosting, chocolate cookie, and then dipped all in chocolate is what it looks like. It says 11 biscuits, I forgot cookies are biscuits, aren't they, in other places. Alright, let's dive into these. delicious looking biscuits. So let's go ahead and try one. These make me want to move because we don't have anything quite like this. This is, it is a biscuit and I don't, I mean, I'm, it's less sweet than a cookie, but it's sweet enough. I really appreciate um, desserts that aren't overly sweet. I'm having a hard time with the sugar overload here in the States. Um, it's lighter than I thought it was going to be. Not as dense, not as heavy. It almost, almost has a little bit of a ginger snap vibe, like a really, really light ginger snap vibe maybe. The chocolate is really good. Now I believe, from memory, that a note that was included mentioned dipping these in hot chocolate, which I'm going to try now that I've opened it. I was waiting to open the bag. So, I'm going to definitely try that, like, right after this. Okay, so, now these ones, um, the Natural Confectionery Company are y yummy fruit flavors, or juicy orange, wild blackcurrant, delectable smooth banana, ripe raspberry, and crisp. Apple. I love how you describe that. And these are also Australian made, which I think is great. Um, I love it. I love that, I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. These are snakes. Snakes. Oh, I love this little thing. It has a little scissor sign and it says tear for yum. Okay, a tear for yum. And it actually tears. What a concept. Which snake color do you think I'm gonna pull out of here? I'm gonna guess um, orange. Wrong. So I can only assume that this is the crisp apple one. These are pretty. I guess 
they are pretty, like, bigger than I thought, I guess. So again, I think I just need to start getting my snacks from other countries. This is very good. And I'm not even like a huge gummy person, but again, it's because it's not as sweet that I like it. Which is crazy that this isn't as sweet as what I'm used to. That shows me exactly how bad it really is in the U.S. with them dumping sugar into every product they make. And it's crazy. And it's definitely crisp apple flavor. But it's light and I really like it. Good job, Australia. I need to come visit you someday. Go check out the city. I don't know much about Australia. I haven't done research yet, but I'm going to get there. Okay. So this next one are called twisties. And it says on the back, life's pretty straight without twisties. I see what you did there. I approve. Um, I really enjoy the nutrition facts on all of these. They're a lot more consumer friendly. I like it. So, let's open this sucker. It doesn't have a yum line though. These are going to be on today. They taste like mac and cheese if it was a Cheeto flavor. Isn't it interesting that we have a lot of the snacks fall into these kind of categories, right? You have your chocolate cookies, you've got your gummies, you've got your cheese, crunchy snacks. It's just interesting how universal those types of things are. Okay, so those are the ones from Australia. I did get one other package recently um, from America. Um, it came in a new coffee mug, which is of course very important for me because I drink tea and coffee like crazy when I'm being productive. So this came from another friend and this I got into already not really thinking I was going to do or include it in this video, but I figured I might as well. So, and what he so kindly provided me with is their card. This is from Great Lakes Candy Kitchen Knife River in Minnesota. Minnesota. So if you're in Minnesota and you're feeling like you want to uh, get some amazing, amazing caramels, that's where you go. This had, I don't even know how many, I'm down to like four. So I'm able to show you guys these. 
No, I'm gonna eat it. Oh my kitty. So I've had this for a while now. And since I was in Europe earlier last month, I think it probably sat in my P.O. box for a little bit. And then I've had it in my house for a little bit too. And what I can tell you is even though these are no longer fresh, they're so fresh. If you get what I mean. Like, they're not hard. They're extremely malleable, flexible. They just mush. So whatever they're doing to keep it, that consistency of fresh caramel, incredible. Maybe I just don't buy caramels very often and that's normal, but for me, I was really impressed with that. So. If you like caramels, highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. So anyways, I know it's kind of a different, I'm not really into like, what's the term? The eating videos. I'm gonna think of it as soon as I'm done. Otherwise, I'm not a huge fan of those videos. You know that. I don't do very many of them. But this was just too good of a occasion to uh, share with the uh, world some treats that may they may not be able to get to experience or see or learn about otherwise. Because you guys down there. You're kind of far away from the rest of us, so it's harder to share your accomplishments and your, um, you know, national treasures, so. Anyways, thank you to my friends. I'm showing three different people's stuff today, and I will do a better job at, um, you know, doing more videos like this if you send me stuff, so thank you so much for everybody supporting me listening to this stuff, um, being there for me, I know it was kind of a rocky couple months, and, um, just the amazing amount of support, you guys have no idea the world of difference I've made, so, thank you guys so much.